So good evening, everybody. Um, I'm here in the loft again, and uh, about a week ago, I put up a video of uh, <clears throat> the 15 odd young I had here, um, and, and they were in sparkling condition. Um, two or three days after the video, so today is Friday, so a week ago Friday, so probably Sunday, um, the droppings were in shit. They were green, they were messy, they were all over the place. Um, so I don't think they were they commit I don't think it was young boy sickness because they've actually pulled around already bar one there and I'm looking at maybe a second one isn't fully right, but for the predominantly there. And I'm doing this video to show you what they were all looking like during the week. So the droppings were green, messy, wet, they were vomiting, and that's actually what they copped first. On Sunday or Monday, I think it was Sunday, they I, I know or Saturday evening even. I noticed seed on the on the purchase, so they were vomiting. Uh, I don't know, it was that causing this? And then uh, by by Sunday or Monday, they were all vomiting, everything. So a couple of days later, they were all vomiting. Um, so I was a bit stumped as to what to do. So I went back to an old. I, I personally think I get them an infection. I use stuff called kefir. Uh, if you Google it, you'll see it. Kefir. It's uh, it's fermented milk. And what it does is, it's, it's a culture of bacteria that forms in a clump and it ferments milk into probiotic and protein. I know you can coat the feed with it every, you know, so often. But I started a new bottle of this stuff and it was only tiny and I probably put too much milk in on top of it for such a small culture to ferment. And I think what I actually then did was give the pigeons sour milk, uh, probably on Thursday and Friday last week. I didn't, I didn't kick in. So I probably get them sour milk on their food, and then by Sunday and Monday they were all vomiting. So I cut this at that point because the food started smelling really bad. So I just ditched the food, um, and all the young boys them I, 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 I segregated, had a look at them, <coughs> kept them all separate, uh, and I, I dehydrated them. So I dehydrated them, I'm just taking the water away. So I kept the water away for 24 hours, and then I went in the next day and I used Epsom salts in the water to actually make them vomit whatever was in their, their crops, if that's what was causing the problem. Because if the birds are vomiting, usually the problem is in the crop area. So an old trick fancies used to use years ago was Epsom salts, cleared their crops, if they had sour crop years ago or not like that. So anyway, Get them the Epsom salts on whatever it was, Monday or Tuesday morning. Uh, no food. Monday evening, no food. Wednesday morning, the next day, Epsom salts again in the water. No food. They were diving on it and they were clearing everything out. They were still vomiting up liquid. Okay, and I was cleaning the section twice a day just to, just to get sorted. And then the second evening, I gave them a light feed with no water because I wanted to see if they'd vomit anything up, and there was no seed, so they didn't vomit then, after two days of the Epsom salts, which was great. So the next morning then I gave them Epsom salts again after digesting the food overnight, Epsom salts again on the third morning, and there was nothing, we were all clear at that point. So then the third evening then, I gave them fresh water, but I also gave them a light feed. So you've seen the feed mix I was given. So the feed mix I was using, was 25% beans, 50% barley, and 25% jew breed and wean. So I actually just removed the beans from the mix and gave them 50-50 barley and breed and wean. And uh, it seemed to do the trick. So I'm gonna just show you a couple of the boards. I'm not gonna hand them, I'll just show you. So they have pretty much come around, which is good enough for me. So the one on the floor I'm gonna show you for so you can see it, is that one in the back. Now they were all, he's actually the youngest of them, and he has just come down with this. The others are all through it. So these were all looking like him. Now that pile there is still a bit iffy, but the rest of them, as you can see, are tickety-boo, tickety-boo. Uh, they were out today for the first time, uh, and for the first time since last, probably Monday, and flew very well. So I'm quite happy with the way that has gone now and that they've come around and, and yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm quite happy with the way things are. So I'm not going to worry too much about the young boards now. Now unfortunately I did lose four young boards through it. They just killed over, unfortunately, you know, as it happens. Um, but I got most of them through it and I think the young board pulled through it as well. If he doesn't in the next couple of days, if he doesn't in the next couple of days. 
So that's that's the young wars. That was that was the saga during the week. <coughs> um, and as you know, I like to show warts and all. Uh, I've already put a video up on Facebook. I have boards after coming back to me that I had sold previously. So if anybody's missing their boards, if they can contact me with the ring numbers that they're missing. If the boards are here, you're more than welcome to the back. Uh, and then we have the bolt system ongoing. So I've actually removed the stock hens that are on the bolt system. There's seven hens here, as you can see. They're all there. Uh, the whole other. There's eight hens in there, but seven of them are the, are the bull hens, the hens on the bull system, and one of them is a feeder hen who just didn't lay. So I floated all the eggs. I got out of the seven hens, six pair of eggs. I got 12 eggs. One hen just didn't lay. Fine, I just separated her. I'm not, 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 not tolerating it. You just have to let them go in their cycle. She didn't lay, fine. And out of the 12 eggs that I got out of the six hens, I have 10 fair toil. So that's a good, that's a good hit on the bull system. And... So they're all pairs and there's two single nesters. So it's not that one hen didn't get hit at all. They're just having some two single nests, one egg's not one egg in each, not fair at all. Which happens. Now I was the, the eggs were all, the eggs were laid last week um, and I let them sit for a couple of days and separated them actually only two days ago. So today is Friday, so I separated them on Wednesday evening. And they're going nuts in there trying to get out of the section. So I'm actually gonna pair them up and go again with the bull system again and uh, they'll have to rear these ones because there's no feeders for them. Um, so that's where we are in the loft at the moment. So all those other, those 10 eggs, they're all going out, provided they all hatch and we get them to weaning. They're all going out of the lofts. I have those there. They're gonna go down again and the next lot's for me. That's it, I'm pretty much done then. And I'll probably take two more rounds off them for myself. Uh, as I have 50 in here, well I haven't even got 50 in here now, three, four, five, six. 11, 12, 13, 14, so two of them are all boards, so there's, so there's uh, 1, 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and two of them are all boards, so that's 12, so that's right, 12, 12 in there, so actually I lost 3, not 4, uh, out of 15, so they're there, uh, I'm going to breed, not off all of the hens, but the next round definitely I'm going to take off the 7 and 27, and then I'm going to breed a couple of extra off the 3 principal hens, the daughters of three times Barcelona, three times Barcelona, and five times Barcelona. Um, and get a couple of extra boards off them in the loft for myself. Uh, and that will be done, hopefully by, probably June. I'm hoping to be finished breeding. Put them all in pot eggs and just leave them be. That's it, so listen guys, have a nice weekend. Um, I know uh, Corona's still around. We still don't know what's happening with racing. I particularly don't think there's going to be any racing, but that's just my, my thoughts on it myself. Um, I'm enjoying watching these boards and seeing how they're developing and how they're coming on. Um, so yeah, have a good weekend guys.